Yes. Hello, Steve. Sorry to hear about your problem. Uh, I used to belong to local 1995 carpenters and joiners of uh, Canada there. The one in Vancouver, BC. I haven't been a member for four or five years. But we ran across the same kind of bullshit. Blacklisting, uh, corruption, all this kind of stuff. And the WCB here is just right beyond belief. There have been so many workers that have been denied what they're rightfully due. Uh, we've had people that have killed themselves, people hanging from rafters, losing their families, going homeless, the whole nine yards. I have a petition up on my website. If you go punch in drywall rocker, you'll come across my ugly mug. And on it, I have a shortcut to ha and the petition is asking to have the privative clause removed from the section of the act called the uh, jurisdiction of the board now I don't know for sure that you have the same section there but I would I would imagine somewhere you do uh, the WCB enjoys the protection of the government by statue in this country I don't know about there more than likely they do because after all, our compensation was actually modeled off of your compensation many, many years ago, back in 1917. Uh, but your unions are stakeholders in, in this. You'll find that your unions have uh, business agents that sit on the board of governors, and uh, they sit on the appeals board and everything else. So they're, they're major stakeholders in it. In this, in, in this country, they also invest the pensions of the sister union, the government employees union, and that's who the case workers and, and that actually uh, uh, belong to is the, the government employees union. So I could never figure out why the union wouldn't go after the WCB, but that's why they wouldn't, because they're not going to go after a sister, sister union. And Jim Sinclair, the BC Federation of Labor, he sits on the board of a, an outfit called uh, Share, and they actually invest the pensions of these people and the police and everything else. It, it's just beyond belief what's being done to the injured workers of not only my country, but your country also. We have to get People have to get together. Injured workers everywhere have to get together and say, you know, enough's enough. Uh, this is just beyond belief what's happening, and it has to be stopped. I mean, let's face it, uh, without the working man in, in the United States, what, what kind of shape would the country be in? And it's the same in this country. But now what they're doing is they're opening up the borders to immigration and bringing in the Mexican people, and I've got nothing against Mexican people, but they're bringing them in because they don't complain when they get hurt and they don't file compensation claims, and they get shipped home the minute that they get hurt. Now, it's just incredible what's happening to you guys. The same thing happened here. We and the thing is, we had the same kind of woman here in the WCB. She 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 stole nine hundred thousand dollars of the same thing, kind of thing. And uh, and uh, they were sticking up for her, you know, saying she was having mental problems and that. Yeah, she sure was. <laughs> she was having uh, plenty of mental problems for nine hundred thousand dollars, and. And, and people can't get help out of these people. I mean, my, my career was destroyed. They blacklisted me. I've got employers on tape blacklisting me because of my WCB claims. Uh, and I, I fell and broke my arm and destroyed my arm. And, and I'm a drywall author by trade. I used to be a member of Local 1995, Carpenters and Joiners. But we were treated really badly in that union. And uh, they've fallen completely apart now from what I hear. But uh, it, it's obvious what's happening to you guys. It all boils down to the bottom line, money. Uh, uh, and the longer they can deny you and not pay you, they collect uh, uh, a high rate of interest on that money and uh, co compound interest. And, and if they deny you for 20 or 30 years, then they've paid for your claim and made money off it. And, you know, and it's just ridiculous. And the same thing's happening here. But we're trying to get people all across this country and North America to stand up and say enough's enough. You either straighten it out or we're going to shut you down. Uh, 
I've got no problem with my American brothers uh, uh, signing my petition. Their, their, their signatures are welcome as long as they put where they're from. And that on the, on the petition, I'd be more than happy to have it. Any help that we could give, uh, although it probably won't be much because our systems are so are different. But uh, I, I know what you're going through, believe you me. They destroyed my life and <laughs> I, I've lost everything that I've had. My whole life has been destroyed and I feel sorry for you, brother, and uh, the rest of the people. And, and it's heartrending to watch that video. And, uh, and those people in that union should be bloody well ashamed of themselves. I mean, there's no way that an injured worker should have to go through this kind of bullshit. I mean, we've got brain injured workers. I could show you a picture of a felt young fella hanging from a tree or from a rafter. Uh, he left his kid in the car while he went in into the porch or into the shed and hung himself. And he they found him with a, a denial letter clutched in his cold dead fingers. I mean, you know, it's this that that's just wrong. I mean, you know, that's just wrong. In a in a decent so-called democratic country, that kind of thing shouldn't take place. Anyways, I suppose that's about it for right now. Thank you.